You are not going to want to miss out on these insane Splatoon 3 glitches. We've got something for everyone if you're just starting out or if you're an experienced player. So if you want to learn how to do them, stay tuned. Hello everybody and welcome to Glitchtastic. Today we're going to be playing Splatoon 3. And we are going to be doing some glitches. So let's just get right into it. So for the first glitch, you are just going to want to come to Grisco. So just come to the main area of Grisco and you should be good. Now you are going to want to grab an egg. This isn't required, but it is definitely recommended. Now, you're going to want to come over here to this area with the two small fries, and you are just going to want to ink the floor. Make sure you don't ink any of the walls, because this will mess up the glitch. Now, from here, you are just going to want to be running right into this small fry in squid form, and you are going to want to squid roll between right in the corner of the wall and this giant and this giant block and if you do that correctly you should be able to go right through the wall which we were successful in we have been able to clip right through the wall but we weren't able to stay on but we can now so the reason why we brought an a is because we can sort of stay in the area with the weapon while remaining out of bounds this is a bit tricky, since we don't really have very much room. But since we do have enough room here, we can throw the egg. And there it is, just floating on the void. For some reason, this works. And if you do go too far into the wall, it doesn't work. So I guess you're crossing an imaginary line that Nintendo placed there. Now, you're going to want to remain half out of bounds and half in bounds until we reach the slope up there. I do recommend staying in squid form because you have less margin for error. And now that we're all here, we are just going to want to jump up into those boxes. If you don't have enough height when you're jumping in squid form, jump in squid form and then unsquid form in mid-air, and you should be able to get up just fine. Just like that. And now we are in the main part of the Out of Bounds. There are these boxes, which aren't very exciting, but you can go in here. And this is where the Marigold would hand out your fish eggs to you. Or you would redeem your things for scales. So you can give yourself things for scales that you have behind the glass. It is very strange, but also very, very fun. You can even interact with Mr. Grizz, too. It's, it's crazy what you can do with this glitch. You can make Mr. Grizz start a job! That is something you definitely can't do normally. So, yeah, there we go. Mr. Grizz is now starting a job. He's going to do a freelance job. From here, there are three things that we can do. We can either A, stay in here. B, go inside of Mr. Grizz and this area. Just like this. We can go inside of Mr. Grizz. We can go inside of the Marigold platform. And... Oh my gosh, we're decapitated. And inside of this book. Or C, we can go up there. But since we are over here, we can't really go back inside the wall to get on top of there. So we are going to want to be going into the ladder from here and jumping. And if we do that right, we should be able to get on top of everything. From here, we can't jump up either because there is an invisible wall blocking our path. So if we do want to go up there, we are going to have to do the glitch again. But it is still fun to assert your dominance on Mr. Grizz and go on top of him. You can even check your rewards from space, I guess. I don't know. You're flying way up. Uh, we're flying way up above the marigold. So I'll see you guys once we're going up there in three, two, one. Okay, and we're back with the method on how to get up there. So now, we are just going to want to inch ourselves into this crate while still remaining out of bounds. We are going to want to be on the very edge of the collision. And once you think you're there, just jump. And if you do it correctly, you should be able to glitch on top of the collision while staying out of bounds. From here, we can go all the way around all the collision here. But it is a bit precise since we do need to stay half out of bounds and half in bounds once again. But if we just want to go up there, we just gotta jump. That's it. But, let's see what happens if we go inside the ladder. Huh, nothing much. Okay, so let's just do it again. 
There we go. Now, let's jump and get up there. There we go. Wait, what? Okay, I am still in the floor. Now I'm not. Okay. We are now flying on top of Mr. Grizz's stand thing. I don't really know what it is. But, yeah, we're up here now. We can stay up here. We can take some fun pictures. We can teach friends how to get up here. Yeah, this is a fun spot to be. And I'll see you guys with the next glitch in three, two, one. Okay, and we're back with the next glitch of the video, which takes place in the main lobby area. For this one, I recommend that you have the Dapple Doolies. That's what these are called, right? Yeah, Dapple Doolies. And you are going to be wanting to have a friend switch or have a second switch and second copy of the game for this one. It is 100% required because you need a pr second private room. So for this one, you are going to want to go onto your friend's switch or get them to open up a private room and you are just going to want them to make the private room. That's the whole step. Now that the private room is all made on my second switch, we are going to want the person that made the private room to be standing right here. So just go in and out of the doors until they're standing there. There we go. That didn't take long at all. This sometimes can take forever, so that's lucky. Now we are going to want to be doing something where we do a dodge roll with the dualies at the exact same time we talk to them. So a good way to practice the timing of pressing A and B together is pressing them at the same time to see if he jumps. So literally just press A and B at the same time. And if you see your character jump, that's the right timing. Now, instead of just jumping, you are going to want to be holding ZR, which is the ink button. And when you press down A and B together with your thumb, you are going to want to hold one of the dodge roll sides. And if you do it correctly, you should be able to do a dodge roll when talking to him. There we go. So now that we've got that down, we are going to want to do it right towards into there. So we are going to want to be about here, inking dodge roll while talking and now we have done the hardest part of the glitch now we're just going to want to join their private room now we are out of bounds so the reason why i recommend the dapple dualies is so that we can just place the squid beacons down so we can teleport here after we're dead because we will probably be dying a lot here since flooring is very confusing so we can explore the whole area of the lobby that we are not allowed to explore at all. We can go in here, which is kind of difficult unless you jump. And you can just kind of be here. There isn't really anything that you can do from here. But that's why we have the squid beacons, just in case we go inbounds or die. Now we can explore a little bit here. Like we already showed off, we can go over there. You can't really pass that second thing that Judd is sleeping on. So that's kind of unfortunate, but you can still go sort of on the first one. You're also going to want to use the Dapple Doolies to see where you can go and where you can't go. So you can we can see that we can go in here. Can't go in here since the ink is going right through. But we can go over here since the ink is hitting the floor. Now, since you don't have the Dapple Doolies, we can use the squid form instead. So we can go inside of these stairs, but it is literally right on the edge of collision. So you can't really go that far in the stairs. You can still hide the bottom half of his body though. It's also a pretty good spot for hide and seek. You can also just kind of jump through the stairs right into the void. This random pillar has no collision. The fire extinguisher has no collision. If you go right through the middle of the wall, it doesn't have collision. And let's try and get past Judd. Let's try and do the impossible. Oh, come on. This can happen to you as well, where you just kind of get stuck in this halfway point between the wall and inbounds. If that happens to you, use the squid beacons. Okay, let's keep trying. This can be, this can get quite annoying. Okay, let's try this again. This is going to be one of the last tries to get past Judd. We're doing good. We are staying out of bounds right now. We aren't in the in-between state. This is looking good. Come on. Gotta take this carefully. Okay. 
What is going on here? Yeah, there's just a solid wall there. You can't do anything. I do have an idea, but it is a bad one. Saving up the special, going over here, and switching the weapon to something that has a zip caster. There. Now, if we go over here, we can now use the zip caster to get right past Judd. Maybe. No, no! Oh my gosh! Where are we? What the heck was going on? Okay, I think we should explore that a little bit more. Okay, and we have the zip caster again. Let's try this again. We know that we can go onto that wall now. Let's do this. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. Now let's do this. There. Okay, we're on lockers. What? Okay. That is good progress. Oh my gosh. So now we know you can zip cast right onto lockers. I think that's as far as I'm going to take that theory. I'm going to let you guys explore the rest. And I'll see you guys with the third and final glitch of the video in three, two, one. Hey everyone. So bef I recorded this video before the update for Grand Fest came out in Splatoon 3. And it turns out that after the update came out, this last glitch just kind of magically stopped working for me. I'm pretty sure it's patched, but I'm still not 100% sure because I could just be bad. I did spend 30 minutes to an hour trying to get this one. But then again, I might just be bad and one of you could get it. So try it at home. If it works for you, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Now, you are just going to want to get a special. So, you should be having the Tacky Cooler special. And you are just going to want to start holding it. Don't throw it down immediately because we are going to be needing a little bit of a setup with this thing. We are going to want to have the outer circle to be just below the middle. So we can see here, it is just at the start at the little thing that's in the middle. And that should be a good position. Now, we are going to want to make sure it is as close to the wall as we can get. By basically making it go onto the wall and then moving our joystick very, very, very slightly until we get it onto the floor. Now this looks like a good position. We are going to want to throw it down, back ourselves into the corner between the tacky cooler and the uh, inflatable guy. I don't know what it's called, but we are going to want to back ourselves into the corner between the inflatable guy and the tacky cooler. Then we are going to want to go sort of towards the center of the tacky cooler. And once we hit the wall, and if you go through it, good. But if you don't, you got to go back and try again. So let's try it. Also make sure to be having your gun out the entire time. Oh, it's being annoying today. We can also try going straight, but we are going to want to be hitting that, uh, that soda or pop. Okay, we didn't get it. Now we just gotta keep doing that until we get it. Okay. Oh my gosh, we got it! That was fast. Okay, but we did get the glitch. Which means we did go through the wall, but we didn't really stay out of bounds like we wanted to. So once you do go through the wall, you can hold backwards to sort of stay on an edge part. So... If you want to stay out of balance, you can go there. It is quite precise, though, since there is, like, no room for error. Because there is such little room out of bounds. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if we can go right through the wall again. Okay. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, we're still out of bounds. Yeah, that is a very, very small area that we can stay out of bounds in. So we don't have our weapon, and we are now going to want to be going very slowly so that we can stay out of bounds. We're going to try and go all the way up there and see if we can get to an area where we can use our weapon. And we should be able to stay out of bounds with that squid beacon. None of the floor over there has any collision, so don't try to stand on any of the floor because you will inevitably just fall right through. Okay, we can try it. We can try going to that squid beacon. That could maybe work. That's our only hope. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, sort of, maybe. No. That's a no. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Why? Just why? So we are back in bounds now. 
and there is a little bit of extra exploring that we can do out there. But we've just got to get our special and do the glitch again to show you guys. So I'll see you guys once we get the glitch again in three, two, one. Okay, and we're back and we have gotten the glitch. So we are able to go right inside of there. But I have a better idea. What if we can go around here? Well, doesn't look like it. So, I'm gonna try- okay. So you can't really get out of there, but you can ink the floor here. Except, in certain places you just can't go in the ink. But certain places you can. So let's just place a squid beacon. Now we can come back here. There we go, we can come back. There is ink out of bounds. And you can ink through the floor. Okay, that is interesting. So, that's all the glitches that I've got for you guys today. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. On your left and on your right, you'll see two videos that YouTube thinks that you'll enjoy. See you guys there!